God and Jesus are one human manifestation of God. That the human spiritual state is growing increasingly darker is revealed by fact that people are no longer able to understand God's becoming one with Jesus properly. And that they therefore also lack the right comprehension for God's human manifestation. Owing to the misguided teaching of the three-person deity they began to think wrongly, yet, time and again, it has to be said that the eternal deity cannot be personified. Thus it cannot be conceived as anything other than power permeating the whole of eternity. This power cannot be limited nor can it be thought of as a form. But it can permeate a form completely, and this process of complete permeation by divine strength occurred in the man Jesus. He was full of love and love is the fundamental substance of the eternal deity. Ceaselessly emanated into infinity which creates and maintains everything. And this divine strength of love permeated the human form of Jesus and thus manifested itself in him, God's fundamental nature took abode in the man Jesus and thus God became human. And since Jesus was completely filled with the fundamental substance of God, he became God. Because even his completely spiritualized human form was able to wholly unify with God after his crucifixion so that Jesus then became the comprehensible deity. That the human being cannot imagine God other than in Jesus. But that it cannot ever be a question of two people. The human being Jesus had achieved the goal on earth, the complete deification, which all created beings should achieve because God wanted to create images of himself whose final perfection, however, had to be achieved by the free will of the being itself. Jesus the man achieved this deification not only on account of a life of love, but with the act of salvation he also redeemed humanity's guilt of sin. For he used God's strength of love or he would have been unable to bear the terrible suffering and crucifixion. This strength of love was God's fundamental nature, thus God himself was within the man Jesus in all fullness and accomplished the act of salvation. However, it is a misleading concept when you humans speak of a three-person God because the eternal deity cannot be personified since it is pure love, and this love manifested itself in Jesus, and thus the eternal spirit God was working in Jesus and to all beings he can only be comprehensible in Jesus. Since God's former created beings had abandoned him because they could not see him, he became a visible God to them in Jesus. But Jesus is not a second being that could be thought of as existing next to God. He is God because God is strength of love, which permeates a fully spiritualized form, Thus it consists entirely of divine fundamental substance and is therefore only visible to those beings who have also become spiritualized in order to see spiritually. It is certainly correct to describe God's nature as Father, Son and Holy Spirit if the Father is acknowledged as love, the Son as wisdom and the Holy Spirit as the will or power of God. Because God's nature is love wisdom and power. But the goal God had set for himself when he created the beings, the voluntary deification of these beings, also explains. When it is achieved, God's manifestation in Jesus, the visible deity in Jesus, while the three-person deity does not allow for a correct, that is truthful explanation. People have created their own concepts which obstruct their spiritual maturing process, because only one God can be called upon, three different gods may not be prayed to but God himself wants to be acknowledged in Jesus, and hence he can only be worshipped in Jesus. And he demands this acknowledgement of all human beings, because this acknowledgement had been denied to him in the past and because the act of salvation has to be accepted at the same time. Because no person can find forgiveness of his original sin without Jesus Christ, and therefore the human being has to declare his belief in him. 
he has to believe that God himself has shown compassion for humanity and accomplished the act of salvation in Jesus. Amen.